if someone is found apparently murdered, then the police have to conduct an investigation. And the investigation can take some time because it will have uh, scientific components and components involving taking with, taking evidence from witnesses who may have seen various things. So it's it's not an instantaneous process, and a, a brief of of evidence or perhaps an, a brief for the coroner is uh, prepared with statements from everyone who may be able to throw uh, shed some light on the um, the the incident. Well, that's that changes the focus uh, somewhat. But of course, um, the police have to be sure that that is the means of death, that the person who is deceased um, caused the death of the innocent party. And, and so that that's part of the investigation too, uh, just in case, because sometimes it looks very unlikely and it looks like a, a closed circuit in that one person... Uh, killed another and then killed him or herself uh, and that but the police have to make sure that there was no one else involved and that there was no other foul play and that takes some investigation too and uh, until and, and until that's done uh, the police won't be very uh, determinative about what happened uh, they have if if it is the case that the deceased man is the person who killed uh, the poor young lady, um, then he will never be found guilty of murder. And the reason for that is he, he can't be tried because he's not here. And murder is something, murder has a couple of components to it. It has not only the act, but it has a mental element as, as well. And because he is dead, then that mental element can never be uh, satisfied. Uh, for example, some people, if they're very, if they're insane, can't be found guilty of murder either. Uh, now, I'm not saying that that's this case, but uh, that that is an example of where, even though uh, a person has deliberately killed another, uh, his or her mental capacity mean that they can't be found guilty of murder. So it's it's very there's a an aspect which is um, subjective, which is which depends on the person's mind, and it's very hard to prove that. It, well, it's it's there can be no trial of a dead person, but what can happen is that a coroner can make a finding about how the deceased person met uh, his or her death. So the coroner can find that the death was caused by the deceased person but not necessarily a, a, uh, not necessarily that it was murder manslaughter or or neither it, it doesn't and does the justice system ever provide that uh, in the many years that i was prosecuting in murder trials i i was i always very sadly had to tell families i i at the end of this trial even if we Get the result that we want, which is which was a guilty um, verdict, uh, if if that was the way the evidence um, tended. Um, I can't give you back your your loved one. So so the the criminal justice system can't really ever um, repair that damage. But uh, at least a, a coroner's inquest will answer the questions about about how the death happened and it might answer some of the questions about why the death took place. And there, there would be an, uh, an extensive inquiry into the mental aspects of the suspect's uh, health uh, in the, in the, in, over his whole life and leading up to the, the, the dreadful tragedy. Uh, so so that, that will be part of the investigation. And at the end, the coroner can make findings that, that may go some way towards um, to answering the questions and, and to um, at least bringing some closure for the, um, for, for the bereaved.